hello, my name is I'm Dragana Vasilievich. I am art historian. I teach art history uh, at Nova Community College uh, and I love what I'm doing. Why and when I decided to be uh, art historian? Well, I don't quite uh, fit the general rule, you know, people deciding very late. I pretty much knew very early and if I tell you I was sixth grade, uh, you won't laugh. Uh, exactly, I was sixth grade, I had a great art teacher, he was phenomenal. While we were drawing in the classroom, he would walk around, he was a painter, he would walk around and tell us the story of Vincent van Gogh and Jackson Pollock and other uh, in interesting stories of lives of painters and especially Vincent van Gogh really impressed me and his destiny and then I sixth grade and I grabbed a book uh, which was uh, these were letters that were uh, published letters between Vincent and his brother Theo and I read it and then I read a book about um, Toulouse-Lautrec and I said I want to know everything about these people I want to know everything about their art I lived, I grew up, I lived in a big city, Belgrade, where we had a number of museums, and I liked being in a museum. Um, it also, one, my, my favorite uncle was art historian, my other uncle was a uh, famous painter, and they didn't influence me, if they influenced me, they influenced me in the opposite way, they didn't want me to go this direction, because they knew there were no jobs, but I was surrounded by books, there were so many books in our place, uh, several generations of my family and I like to be in a museum and now you go in a museum and it can be overwhelming because there's so many things and you don't know what's important and I thought when I graduate art history I will know every single piece of art everywhere in the world and I'll know right away exactly what's important and what's not of course it doesn't happen that way you don't know every single piece of art but you kind of become able to distinguish what's important and what you need to stop by and look and take you know uh, notes and what you don't so that is how i uh, decided i i liked architecture and i um and i liked literature but i thought you know literature you i don't really need to take a degree in that for architecture i was kind of ambivalent i was afraid of mathematics frankly speaking <laughs> Uh, but uh, art history was always my kind of, if I, in ideal world, I want to be art historian. And then when it came to be enrolled at the university, I said, well, why shouldn't I make it my ideal world? So I did. So how did you get your first role as an art professor? Uh, that was back in Yugoslavia, where I was born, raised and graduated. I got a bachelor degree. I was actually giving pri like a tutor private classes to someone and then I came here uh, uh, to Michigan for my graduate degree and I was working at the university first as a teaching assistant and then when I graduated I got a job in a very good school in Detroit, it's called the College of Arts and Designs, uh, it's really great uh, college, uh, design school, art school. So that was my first, that was my first job. As an art teacher, I worked something in the art, I did something else, uh, such as conservation and preservation of medieval frescoes and icons before that. And that was also a wonderful job to do, but I opted for teaching because I prefer to pass the knowledge. And to become a teacher was, as I said, was my uh, art teacher in sixth grade. And then my other teachers in, uh, middle school and high school, uh, I learned from them a lot. I learned from them how to be a good teacher, and I also learned from some of them how not to be, a, I mean, how to be a bad teacher, what to avoid, not to, not to do, not to make and repeat their mistakes. And the reason I wanted to be a teacher is, I think it's very simple. I like to, when I like something, when I'm in, in love with something like art, I want to share that with the world. I think it's so beautiful, art is so beautiful, and when you get to know it, it becomes yours. It doesn't matter where you're from, it doesn't matter your culture, your background, when you learn something, when you study something, you adopt it. It becomes yours. Mona Lisa is mine. She belongs to me because I know every square inch of that painting. And I find it fascinating and I really want to share that with the world and I think it's important to pass the knowledge down to the next generation. 
no matter you know how much you can't get from my clients, you'll forget probably 70% of that, but something will remain. Something will remain, you know. You won't feel uh, dummy when you go to foreign country. You will recognize something. You will know something, and you will know where to look, you know, where to look for more information. 